Hej på er och välkomna! Last week we went over the first three question words. Vem, vad and när. This week we're gonna go over a few more. The first one is var. It means where. Var bor du? Where do you live? Var ligger Göteborg? Where is Gothenburg located? Easy, right? No! For your inconvenience, there are also some other words for where in Swedish that you have to learn. While var means where in a static sense, vart means to where. In other words, you can't say var ska du cykla for where will you bike to. The correct way to say this is vart ska du cykla. Whenever the subject of the sentence is in motion and you want to ask where he, she or it is in motion to, you use vart instead of var. Another important where term is varifrån, from where. It is used in the same way as the other two, but is used to indicate motion from something. For example, varifrån kommer du? Where do you come from? This word is important to recognize, but you don't actually have to use it. You can also simply say, var kommer du från? As long as you understand both, you're good to go. Okay, let's move on. The next word is varför, which means why. Varför är du ledsen? Why are you sad? Varför kostar det så mycket? Why does it cost so much? Pretty straightforward, right? Yes! Finally for today, hur means how. It works in Swedish just as in English. Hur lagar man köttbullar? How do you make meatballs? Hur lång är du? How tall are you? As you can see, Hur can be used in both these senses, just like in English. In what way and to what extent. So in conclusion, the majority of the six question words work just like in English, although the grammar that follows them can be rather troublesome at first. But you'll get used to it in part three of asking questions, when I teach you how to ask questions without question words. That's it for today's lesson, and I'll see you in April. Vi ses då!